перейдем на следующую концовку. Норман Джейден у нас на этот раз выжил. Он умрет. Он не умрет. Для этой концовки нам надо не прощать ее и отвергнуть. Но тем не менее, нам надо будет сбежать от полиции, когда нас будет преследовать. И Мэдисон у нас уведомит об этом нашего главного героя. Итан отказался пить яд, и нам надо угадать правильный адрес. Мы, конечно же, знаем, что это здесь, поэтому специально поедем в другую сторону. Надо ошибиться. Бедный Итан, вот такова судьба этой концовки. Норман Джейден должен ошибиться в расследовании и обвинить Блейка. Show me your left breast. What? Your left breast. Killer's got the same gold watch. Yeah, and so does every other cop in this precinct who's made lieutenant. So does every person who's ever bought one in some shitty mall. What's your fucking point? It's a pretty odd coincidence. What are you trying to say? Accusing me of being the origami killer? Yeah, I think you're the killer, Carter. Watch your fucking mouth, Norman. You're about to make the biggest mistake of your life. Lieutenant Carter Blake, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say? can and will be used as evidence against you in a court of law. Norman, you should be locked up. You're a fucking lunatic. Jesus Christ, Jayden, you completely off your head? Accusing Lieutenant Blake of being the origami killer? I have proof, Captain. Your proof? is a load of bull, Norman. All you have is a load of crackpot theories. I'm taking you off the case. Pack your bags and go back to Washington. Your superiors will hear about all this. Believe me. Джейден знатно облажался. У нас должна погибнуть в доме, поэтому наблюдаем за тем. Мэдисон должна у нас погибнуть в доме, поэтому наблюдаем за этой сценой. Дальше в этом видео я не буду показывать повторяющиеся эпилоги, только те, которые будут уникальными. Что же у нас приключится с Шоном? Никто же к нему придет. 
Норман ошибся. Марс тоже. Мэдисон так вообще умерла. Эф Шону. Journalist Madison Page was laid to rest in Charity Cross Cemetery today. Her heroic death while investigating the disappearance of Sean Mars has made a lasting impression on the whole country. Colleagues from the press are united in paying tribute to this courageous journalist who sacrificed her life in the search for truth. I'm Brittany Sanders for ICN. Okay, Brittany. It's a wrap. Great. Let's get out of here. All this hokey clap made me hungry. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Resign? Try to forget? I don't know. Is Tripto part of your plan to forget? It's the most effective way I found. Except it's not a solution. For the moment, I'm not looking for solutions. I just wanna forget. I'm afraid things may have affected you more than you think. Why do you say that? I'm okay. I'm getting through this. Let's just take it easy. See what happens when it's all over.
грустная концовка, но сейчас будет еще грустнее. Переигрываем с этого эпизода, на этот раз прощаем Мэдисон. Итан у нас от полиции сбежит. Итан отказывается пить яд и опять же убирает неправильный адрес. Давайте для разнообразия там будет Рузвельт Парк. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. Норман Джейден должен отказаться от расследования, поэтому мы сейчас сдадимся. Взял принудительно, пошел дальше. I... I can't go on. Мэдисон у нас не узнала адрес, где содержится штурман, но тем не менее послать теперь Что же у нас теперь будет? Вот эта подгрузка была крипи, когда его лицо чуть-чуть было видно. Может быть, своего рода пасхалка, ну или интересное совпадение. Бедного Шона никто не спас. Опять. Но судьбы героев будут отличающимися. Despite a citywide manhunt, Shelby has not yet been apprehended. Police are now mounting a nationwide operation in an effort to arrest him. We'll go away from here, Ethan. Somewhere where it never rains. We'll start a new life. We'll get a job as an architect. And I'll work for the local newspaper. And we'll rebuild our life. And we'll finally forget. How can I forget that my two sons died because of me? I love them more than anything in the world. But I couldn't protect them. I want you to give me a child. A little boy with your eyes. And we'll watch him grow up together and we'll be happy. We'll get through this, Ethan. Life has to go on. I'll be there to help you. We'll get through this nightmare together. I love you, Ethan. Just give me a few more minutes, Madison. I'll catch up. I'll uh, wait for you in the car.
What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Resign? Try to forget? I don't know. Is Tripto part of your plan to forget? It's the most effective way I found. Except it's not a solution. For the moment, I'm not looking for solutions. I just want to forget. I'm afraid things may have affected you more than you think. Why do you say that? I'm okay. I'm getting through this. Let's just take it easy. See what happens when it's all over. Пасхалочка тут победит тот самый магазин, который заявлялся у нас в Спортшелпе, а продавца нет, потому что он умер. Зачем мы сюда вернулись? Надо первый раз подставить Итана, ну, чтобы его арестовать. На этот раз мы не прощаем Мэдисон. А когда начинается полицейская облава, мы не будем предупреждать Итана, и Итана в итоге арестуют сопротивляться. Ну, посчитаем, что Мэдисон обиделась за то, что он ее не простил, и поэтому решила не предупреждать его. А мальчика попытается как бы спасти сама. My son's gonna die. You gotta save him. Please, save my son. I beg you, you're his last chance. Save my son. Теперь в тюрьме не сможет никак спасти Шона. Второй раз отпустить его нельзя. Для этой концовки Скотт Шелби должен обязательно спасти Лорен, чтобы, собственно Lauren. говоря, идти. Лорен, Лорен!
Норман опять сдается и, соответственно, найти убийцу не может. Мэдисон Пейдж спасается из квартиры мастера Оригами. У нас, получается, все персонажи живые, но при этом никто не знает адрес, где находится наш Как несложно догадаться, Шона никто не спасает, и, к сожалению, в этой концовке он тоже умирает. The body of Sean Mars was discovered this morning on wasteland north of the city. The officer in charge of the investigation, Captain Leighton Perry, has resigned this morning. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Despite a citywide manhunt, Shelby has not yet been apprehended. Police are now mounting a nationwide operation in an effort to arrest him. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Resign? Try to forget? I don't know. Is Tripto part of your plan to forget? It's the most effective way I found. Except it's not a solution. For the moment, I'm not looking for solutions. I just want to forget. I'm afraid things may have affected you more than you think. Why do you say that? I'm okay. I'm getting through this. Let's just take it easy. See what happens when it's all over.
None of the families of the victims ever hired you, did they, Scott? I called every last one of them. All you did was collect the evidence you'd left behind. Wipe out your past. And feed a misery of parents whose children you killed. I swore on my son's grave that I would kill the man who murdered him. I'm gonna keep my word. И последняя концовка для ее получения Мэдисон должна узнать адрес, что, собственно говоря, и было сделано, и никому она звонить не будет, то есть самостоятельно поедет спасать Шона. Может быть, это что-то сделать свою карьеру. No time to call anyone. I'm on my own. I've got to go there. I just can't wait here while the boy might be dying. В этой концовке, кстати говоря, Шон э, Итан не простил Мэдисон. То есть, если все заканчивается благополучно, вместе они не будут. Несмотря на то, что она спасла его сына. Nobody around. Shelby must think I died in the fire. Uh huh. Конечно. Слишком пессимистично. I'm not too late. Sean, where's Sean? An abandoned warehouse, but Sean, Sean, hang on. I'll get you out. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead. Dead. Let the kid die, Scott. He's not responsible for what happened to you. Only his father can save him. For years, I hoped a father would sacrifice himself to save his son. Every time they failed, it was as if my brother dies again. I know what you went through, Scott. You lost your twin brother. He was the only one who understood you. The only one you could talk to. John and I were like one person. When he died, it was like a part of me died with him. I understand you, Scott. There's nothing harder than not being loved by your parents. You must have been very brave. It wasn't bravery. It was love. I held John's head while he was drowning. You've killed all these people, Scott. And for what? Nothing. Just to ease your pain. It has to stop now. It won't make your pain go away. Don't understand. Out there, out there is a father who loves his son enough to sacrifice himself. I'll find him. Whatever it takes. Your father was an alcoholic. He was just some poor guy who was so messed up with alcohol that he couldn't save his son. You know nothing about what happened. You hear me? Nothing. He never cared. We were just something to beat on. Punching bag for his filthy anchor. He let my brother die. You're not going to bring your brother back by killing this child. John is dead. Don't you understand? Killing more innocent people is not going to change that. Shut up. You don't understand. You're like all the others. You think I'm some kind of monster. 
Who are you to judge me? What do you know about my life and the pain I'm feeling? It's over, Shelby. Your evil little game is gonna come to an end. You're gonna spend the rest of your life rotting away in jail. You're the only one who knows who I am. And I'm gonna make sure that you'll never talk. Когда он стал реально руки свой, ты не понимаю, почему первый раз не засчитала. Вроде как бы шмакнул довольно быстро, но игре показалось, видать, не очень. А с другой стороны, попробуйте так поползать с простреленной ногой. Ну мы на это помогали, попадались уже. Ну ладно, давайте ради интереса, это за нормально было. Я думаю, мы справимся еще с парой нажатий кнопок. Дик какой-то. Вот и шелбички конец, а кто-то сказочку смотрел молодец.
He's not breathing. Oh, shit, he's not breathing. Oh, come on, breathe. Uh, breathe. General relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. And news of a happy ending tonight as police commended the courage and tenacity of Madison Page, a reporter covering the Origami Killer story. Miss Page was a critical factor in the successful resolution of this case. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. You're free to go. Dad! Sean has been waiting to see you for weeks. I thought you might like him to be here as soon as you got out. Ethan, I, uh, I'm sorry. I promise you'll never leave me again, Dad. I promise, son. I never will again. to be about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing to talk with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious. Two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? Thank you, Miss Page. I really admire you for what you've done. Thank you. Uh, for John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious.
Are you sure you've thought this through, Norman? You've got a promising career ahead of you. It's a pity that... With all due respect, sir, I'm done thinking. I need to lead something like a normal life. I've just got a bit too close to everything recently. I need to step back. At least for a while. Will you be coming back to the FBI? I don't know. I'm making no promises. You can keep your Ari if you like. This one's going offline. There's a new model due next month. I... I think you better take it back. It's just a little too compelling and, uh... Well, it won't help me where I'm going. The real world. Whatever you want. I hope you find what you're looking for, Norman. I hope so, too. You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? You don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. Оказывается, осталась еще одна концовка, для нее нам даже нельзя целовать Мэдисон, okay. то есть вообще никакую романтику с ней заводить. Sorry. Плюс Мэдисон должна выжить, а Шон mean... любым образом должен быть спасен. спасен. Но мы это сделаем anyway, как раз таки am... за Итана, поэтому я сейчас не буду все это показывать, все эти однообразные действия, go. алгоритм я вам объяснил, смотрим теперь концовку. This morning, when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance, Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Is this where we can live now? Only if you really, really want to. Or we can keep on looking until we find something you like. It doesn't matter where we live, as long as we're together. I will never let anyone or anything separate us again. We're stuck with each other, kiddo. Like glue. Can I choose what my room is? Sure thing, champ.
All right, then I think we can stay here. Our next guest is rumored to be about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing to talk with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious. Two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? Thank you, Miss Page. I really admire you for what you've done. Thank you. Uh, for John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. Are you sure you've thought this through, Norman? You've got a promising career ahead of you. It's a pity that with all due respect, sir, I'm done thinking. I need to lead something like a normal life. I've just got a bit too close to everything recently. I need to step back. At least for a while. Will you be coming back to the FBI? I don't know. I'm making no promises. You can keep your Ari if you like. This one's going offline. There's a new model due next month. I... I think you better take it back. It's just a little too compelling and, uh... Well, it won't help me where I'm going. The real world. Whatever you want. I hope you find what you're looking for, Norman. I hope so, too.
Вот и достижение. Все варианты. Пройти игру со всеми вариантами финала. Это самая редкая ачивка в этой игре. Есть она у 2% игроков, кстати, когда не показывал, что вам дали за непрощение Мэдисон еще ачивочку, непреклонность. Почти все достижения, 89%. Ну а чем мы займемся в следующих видео, догадаться несложно, мы будем выполнять оставшиеся достижения, плюс будет видео отдельно собран, со собранными всеми концовками. Большое же спасибо, что посмотрели это видео, обязательно подписываемся на канал, ставим лайки, включаем все уведомления, пишем комментарии, какая концовка была у вас и какая вам понравилась больше. Увидимся с вами в следующих видео, наше с вами старым добрым, консервативным канале. Всем пока!